All right, listen up. Private Martin, you're on the obstacle course and doing weapons training today. Before starting the obstacle course, read each of these important signs and do what they tell you. Good. Now check your objectives. That's it. Close enough. You will notice that objective is checked off and you now have a new one. All right, Martin. Open the gate and run Martin, the obstacle course. Martin, good to see course. you. Go, go, go! I got your sorry butt here too, huh? Hey, good luck. Move it, ladies! This is not your Aunt Fanny's dance! Jump over him! Come on, Elder, get the lead out! Not bad. Now hit the dirt and crawl forward under the barbed wire. Sergeant, fire up those machine guns! Private Martin, proceed through that door. Sergeant Moody's gonna take you through weapons training. The rest of you ladies, stay right here. Eyes up, Private. I'm up here, in the observation tower. Grab one of those M1A1 carbines from the table. To get more ammo, grab it from any loose weapon of the same type you were carrying. your target. All right, Private, move on to the next area. Grab up a Springfield rifle from the table, switching it for your carbine. Turn to the left, move to the fence, and fire two rounds at your target. Now fire two rounds at your target while aiming down your sight. All right, I hope it's clear to you that you will be more accurate while... Unless you've got three hands, you can only carry two weapons, besides your sidearm and grenades. Take a few steps while aiming down your sight. You're going to move forward this way. In close quarters combat, you can hit your enemy with the butt end of your weapon. This is called a melee attack. Try it with your Thompson. Don't screw around, kid. This is for real. Throw a grenade into each of the openings before you. Rock and fire! Move behind the Lean out to the left and the right. This will help protect you from the enemy. All right, Private. Move on to the next area. Our last station will be explosives. That's a lot of firepower there. Treat it with respect. That stuff doesn't care what it blows up. Note that a stopwatch has appeared. This will tell you how much time you have to get your butt out of there unless you want it blown off. Baker Company, listen up. This is the big one. Operation Overlord, the air and seaborne invasion of Normandy. On H hour D-Day, seaborne infantry will attack five beaches codenamed Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword here on the coast of Normandy. Utah and Omaha beaches will be attacked by three of our infantry divisions. At the same time, two British and one Canadian division will hit Gold, Juno, and Sword Beaches. The Airborne will be landing six hours before H hour, before the air and naval bombardments. The British 6th Airborne Division will be landing here. At the same time, the 101st and the 82nd Airborne will be landing in these areas. The Dews River Estuary here divides Utah and Omaha Beach. The mission of the 101st is to capture the Dews River crossings linking Utah and Omaha Beach and to protect the flanks of Utah Beach. This road here is the main highway that connects the entire Cotentin Peninsula. The Germans have troop concentrations in this region. When those troops are mobilized into a counterattack on the beaches, they'll have to move along this road. The 101st is going to make sure that doesn't happen. Baker Company, that's us, has been assigned this causeway here. The Pathfinders, like Private Martin, will be dropped ahead of the main force and will plant beacons on the ground to mark the landing zones. However, there is no telling what will happen once we're on the ground. So I want all of you to learn the objectives of every unit in both the 101st and 82nd. I also want you to study these maps and photographs until you've memorized them. We will be landing behind the Atlantic Wall, between several German garrisons. 
We can't expect to be relieved until at least several hours after H hour. This is what we've been training for. Good luck. to move on my command. Angles! 
gotta cut through these houses. Move it! Go! But listen up. We'll hold this place till reinforced, but this is just one tiny village in a war and country full of them, so our work has just begun. For those of you who've seen your first action, welcome to the big time. For those of you who've seen it before, trust me, you ain't seen nothing yet. We'll redeploy those German machine guns, setting up a defensive perimeter. Keep your guard up and your buddies in mind. Good work. Johnson, go have a look. Right, Captain.
Over here! Get in the car! Okay, Captain. Assuming we get back to battalion in this rolling junkyard, what do I tell him? Hand this directly to Major Shepard. Tell him Baker Company has secured the town, but won't be able to hold it long if we don't get relieved soon. Got that, Sergeant? Oh, yes, sir. You bet. We ride through enemy lines in a French tin can. Want to paint a bullseye on it, sir? <laughs> yeah, pretty sure that won't be necessary, Sarge. So unless you've got a better idea, or a radio that works, carry on. Good luck. Oh man, this is nuts. I can't believe we're doing this. Believe it. Unless you sprout wings and want to fly. It's only six miles, Private. Just shut up and do your job.
the hell are you doing, Sarge? I don't know. Busy. This is on you. I got, it. I got it. Yeah, but it on me. In the car. Martin, cover us. Step on it. Get us out of here. I gotta go report in to Major Shepard and get our orders. Take five, but stay put. Okie doke, Sarge. What the hell else am I gonna do? Third squad, get your 30 cal to cover our flank. Second squad, follow in reserve. I got point. Elder and Martin on my tail. Everybody set? Let's go! Two MG-42s. Third squad, draw their fire from the left. Second squad, hit them from the right. Go, go, go!
Move back and take cover. This cannon's about to go boom. All right, down the train. Move out. Move on with two squad. Martin. these buildings now let's go
outside. Drive that MG-42 and use it. First platoon, listen up. Sergeant Moody owes me 50 bucks because it looks like Operation Overlord was a success. Our British and Canadian friends took most of their objectives. And except for Omaha, all the beach landings went pretty smoothly. The airborne was misdropped everywhere, but the men formed mixed units and accomplished most of the airborne D-Day objectives. I am extremely proud of all of you. As you know, Sergeant Moody and Privates Elder and Martin broke through German lines to get word to battalion headquarters. If it wasn't for their success, HQ probably would not have sent the reinforcements that helped us hold St. Maraglis. At headquarters, Moody, Elder, and Martin were assigned to silence a German battery at Braycourt Manor and faced an entire platoon of Germans with only a handful of men. Well, it seems that someone at command noticed your actions. Our unit has been detached from the rest of the 101st so that it can be used for some special missions behind enemy lines. I suggest that you brush up on your German, gentlemen, and enjoy your R&R &R while you can. There's an MG-42 on the left, with a guardhouse on the right. They didn't spot me. Let's hope. Captain Price and Major Ingram? Probably in the big house up the road. Martin, you take point and knock out that 42. Harding and Brooks, go get the truck. Meet us at the front of the chateau. Everyone else, follow Martin. Move!
Get in there, grab any docks, knock out their communications, then meet back up with us. Sergeant Moody and I are now. Bryce and Ingram are behind these doors. Stand back. We're gonna blow them. Now! Quite a racket, didn't you? That's quite. A Captain me. Price, Captain. <laughs> Not to worry. I overheard where. Truck's out front, sir. Excellent. Help Captain Price out the window. He's been hurt.
Okay, Martin. We're about ready to ram the gate, with less than 10 minutes from your first shot to pull this off. If you take any longer, they'll be sending someone to rescue us. You take out the front guards, concentrating on the machine gun nests. Once the gate is down, get in there and find the Major. Then rendezvous back at the truck. Shakes and hellos. 